Do you ever get stuck in an internal debate where you're like, should I do this? Shouldn't I do this? And you keep going back and forth, delaying the decision. And you find reasons to justify both sides, which just makes it even harder to decide. This episode is about how to break that cycle. You're listening to Peer Light, where we explore how you can believe in yourself and be happy with who you are so that you feel worthy of your craziest dreams and confident in your power to make them happen. My name is Aili. I'm a coach, writer, and kundalini yoga and meditation teacher. This is episode 104. So in the last episode, I talked about how procrastination is a way of delaying decisions and deferring power to your future self, who potentially may never exist if you keep delaying decisions. In this episode, I want to talk about how to break that cycle of delaying decisions. Because when you're stuck in it, You end up in a passive relationship with life where you're living by default and kind of just waiting for things to happen. And it doesn't feel good to be there. In my experience, it feels like you're powerless and trapped in a way. So in this episode, I'll share two strategies to get you out of that place so that you can get unstuck and back into the flow of life. So what is it that makes decision making so hard? It's often the pressure to get it right. If you're only allowing yourself to make a decision when you know it's the right decision, you could end up delaying that decision indefinitely or potentially forever because you may never have perfect information. When you tell yourself, I don't want to make the wrong decision, that's putting pressure on you to get it right. And of course, we all want to make the right decisions. It's part of being human. But it's worth questioning, how are you defining success here? Because if you're feeling pressure, you're probably assuming that success means making the right decision. But that's creating stress and a desire to escape from having to make a decision at all because you keep delaying and deferring it. So it's not really helpful to look at it from that perspective and define success in that way because it's not helping you move forward. So here's another way to look at it. If you think back to what I talked about in the last episode, what procrastination is really doing to you, and how things are either moving or in a state of inertia. When things are in a state of inertia, you have a passive relationship with life because you're waiting for things to happen. And when you're delaying decisions, you're in that state, which can feel stuck and stagnant and generally not very good because you're not moving forward and you're not growing. So instead of looking at success in terms of, am I making the right decision? because you'll never really know for sure until later anyways. Look at it in terms of, am I making a decision? Am I choosing to make a decision to move my life forward? Am I choosing to break the cycle of indecision and to break that state of inertia and to create some momentum in my life? Not deciding is a decision. So choosing to make a decision is the most empowering thing you can do for yourself. Brene Brown recently shared a quote on Instagram from Neil Peart, who was the drummer of Rush, who recently passed away. He said, if you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. And Brene said that we often think that not making big decisions is neutral, but it's not. It's choosing to default our lives away. So the question isn't, am I making the right decision? It's, am I making a decision? Because the alternative is to be passive and to live by default. Or to put it another way, Am I being passive here or am I creating my future or co-creating my future with the creative power of the universe? Making a decision constitutes success because it means you're taking responsibility for your life and for moving your life forward. So that's the first strategy. Redefine success so that it no longer means making the right decision. And instead, it means making progress by choosing to move forward. That'll help take the pressure off. Because now you're not focused on the results or the outcome. It's more about who you're becoming in the process by choosing to use your power. So now we can talk about the second strategy. And if you're still worried about making the wrong decision, this will also help with that. Because another thing that makes decision making hard is the assumption that whatever we decide is permanent. We're stuck with it forever. Because that also contributes to the pressure to get it right, which can lead to the cycle of indecision. And there are certainly some decisions that are permanent, at least in theory, if not reality, like getting a tattoo or getting married or having surgery. 
So there may be some things that you can't really reverse, but for a lot of things, you can choose to make a different choice later. You can always choose to change your mind. So instead of going back and forth in your mind in that potentially endless loop of should I or shouldn't I, pick one thing, choose your path, commit to it, meaning take action as if you're all in and as if this is what you're really doing and do it and see it as an experiment. So you're gathering data to see how you like it in reality instead of just trying to figure it out in your head because you will never find clarity in your head. That inner debate, that back and forth, it could go on forever, potentially. You'll only find clarity when you get out of your head and into action, because that'll give you feedback that'll then lead to greater clarity. So when you're doing the experiment, pick a period of time to be committed to this path or this choice and make sure you give yourself enough runway so that you you give yourself enough time to actually see if it's working. So set a time at a later date to check in and reevaluate if you want to keep going down this path. And if it isn't working for you, you can always choose another path. You can adjust the direction you're going in. But this way, you'll be breaking the pattern of staying stuck in inertia and moving forward instead of just thinking about it, which means that it'll be easier if you want to just kind of adjust your direction later. And it also means you're no longer delaying or deferring decisions. You're actually using your power. So that's the second strategy. Look at it as an experiment. If you don't know which path to pick, pick one, try it out in real life instead of just in your head, and see what that experience is like. You can always adjust your direction later, but this way at least you'll already be moving. There are a couple more episodes related to this coming up on risk, uncertainty, indecision, and overthinking. If you'd like to hear those, subscribe to Pure Light wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you want to find out about ways to work with me, the best place to do that is on my email list. I send an email out every Sunday with a perspective, practice, or tool to help you stop feeling like shit about yourself. To sign up, go to purelightpodcast.com, click on the button that says Get Self Love Strategies, and sign up with your name and email. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, may you be guided by your light.